I've gotten so excited about my project, I've forgotten to document a little bit of it. Um, here I have two sheets of Lexan. Um, this is point zero eight zero um, polycarbonate. That's the thickness point zero eight zero. Um, I've cut that down to th three and three quarters by six inches. This will be the electronics plate. Uh, right now I'm marking out the holes. Um, then I'll be drilling the holes to fit the Traxxas countersunk screws that I've gotten. Um, and I'll be using those to screw these together, these two Lexan plates. So here you can see I have the holes marked out at six holes. I'll be drilling them together so that I have aligned holes and then I'll separate them so that I can do the countersinking of the top plate so that the screws fit flush. So the holes have been cut now. So I'm going to separate the two pieces and now drill the countersink for the top so that the screws are flush so they won't interfere with any of the mounting of the ESC or electronics. So I've got a couple of the countersunk screw holes drilled. Um, they're not going actually as flat as I'd like. I'm going to still work on those a little bit so I can get them flush. Um, but even if not, that'll be more than sufficient um, but yeah that's what I'm working on right now trying to get them all flush and that's six holes, the six holes on the top that I have to do so now I've got all my countersink holes uh, drilled you can see the screw sits flush on there um, now just get the washer between there a small silicone o-ring and the bottom plate but before I do all that I need to situate my electronics on this plate so that I can drill the holes to hold down the, the electronics after a lot of cutting and hole drilling um, I've got the top and bottom done you can see in the top I've put eight holes for um, strapping the wires down. Um, also in the bottom I put four extra holes to mount the plate to the to the bars in the truck. These will go with zip ties. Um, zip ties go through before I connect the two plates and then That'll get sandwiched in there. And then this will wrap around the bar. Um, two on each side. That should hold it real tight and shouldn't go anywhere. Um, the top and bottom go together with the screws I showed before, along with the washer, a rubber or silicone washer in between these two, and a nut at the bottom. So I'll get it together and then I'll put that on the camera if I don't lose all the screws. Don't forget to remove the protective coating from the metal sheet before you sandwich them together. This is the bottom panel. As you can see, I've already got the zip ties installed. They'll be hanging out when I sandwich the top on. They'll be hanging out in a fashion so that I can still zip them around the posts. Something to remember. If you get it turned around the wrong way, when you put the top on, then you won't be able to zip it around the post in the max stone. So there's my finished tray with the zip ties mounted. As you can see, that will go right over a bar in the max stone and there's your little spacer shock absorbency whatever looks nice coat sort of whatever this is my ESC electronics plate 